Hi, I'm Michael Verdi. I work on support and I want to tell you about this cool project that I've been working on for like forever. So, um, actually here, this is my hotel room. I'm in San Francisco. I'm about to go to the office because we're going to do this thing this week. So what am I talking about? Well, you know, you've probably heard, uh, at least at the summit about the Australis, um, update the, that will be happening. The new redesign of Firefox. Um, next spring. So um, imagine <clears throat> next some fine spring morning um, people open up Firefox and it's totally new, right? There's this beautiful tab strip that just is like Zen, lets you focus on what you're working on. The bookmark star and the bookmark menu are sitting right next to one another. And there's this cool Firefox new menu that's visual, you can see easily what all the things are that are in there, and it's super easy to customize, right? So also imagine on that day when you open up Firefox and you're like, whoa, cool. If you hadn't heard somehow, you haven't heard about this, at the very least, there'll be a little prompt there, a message hanging off of that menu that says, hey, Maybe you want to take a tour and see all these cool things. So this is the thing that we're working on. This is what we're here to build this week. I want to tell you a little story, if you're with me here, about well, my version of how this came to be. This here is a slide from Kathy Sierra from some presentation. I don't know what presentation, but it's my favorite presentation slide ever. And it's it, what I came to Mozilla to do. This is what I wanted to do, which was, well, my version of this, I think, is to make that user manual disappear or um, to have people not even realize that they're, that they're reading the user manual because it's so integrated in the entire Firefox, you know, experience ecosystem that it kind of just disappears. And um, I've been doing that kind of stuff over the last few years in a couple of ways. One is we just now, we link to support content any and everywhere, wherever it makes sense. Um, uh, on the website, in the product, on blogs, Twitter, Facebook. Sometimes people even, um, when they write about Firefox, they use support content. It's, it's like become this whole thing that um, I, you know, I don't even hear about it half the time now um, until until after the fact, like the time Facebook used one of our articles and sent like millions of people to, to one of it. Um, yeah, so another way, uh, another part of all of this that I've been working on is the Firefox reset feature. So when I first started, I, I noticed well, I mean, it was just obvious. We had, we had all these articles about troubleshooting, incredible procedures. Um, and the thing that was common about, about many of these was that um, a lot of things could be fixed by just by creating a new profile and migrating all of your data over. Um, but that's like total wizard level stuff, super hard to do and really hard to explain to somebody how to do. So the idea of the reset feature was let's turn that into like a super one click easy thing that, um, you know, even like a busy bees would love and have it save all your data. Cause that's the important part, right? So have it save all your data. Um, and so now like if, um, Firefox takes a real long time to start up, or maybe you've given up on it for, for a while, and you come back after a couple of months, you're like, oh, let me give Firefox a try. Well, now we'll do things like prompt you, like, hey, maybe you should reset Firefox and make it all brand new, and we'll keep all your data. It's so, so cool, right? So these are like ways to make the user manual disappear, right? So that brings me to this project. This is yet another piece of my master plan to make the user manual disappear. Um, so like a year ago, knowing that this, uh, uh, we were gonna change the way Firefox looked and, and everything, I started um, 
I started, I got a bunch of people together I, to talk about what could we do? How could we get people excited about these new features? How could we let them know about these new features? Um, I saw some mock-ups, I think, that Stephen uh, Horlander did that I was like, ooh, that could be cool. What if we did something with that? And um, so, so we just started meeting. We talked about this for a long time. Then we did, um, we, we built some stuff, we built some prototypes and did some user research and refined the, the thing after, after doing research. And, um, and so what we've come up with is, we'll do this thing. So we'll show you this message hanging off of the, the, the menu button. And you know, some people, whew, they'll just dismiss it, but check it out by dismissing it, We've just told you about the menu bar, right? That's, I think that's so cool that they came up with this idea. Um, but if you take the tour, right, we're gonna show you stuff about Firefox. And it's not just like, um, hey, here's a picture and here's some words. It's super cool, it can be interactive and actually interact with Firefox. So our web-based tour can do things like open menus and highlight stuff and you know, point things out on the tab strip and, and all that kind of stuff. So cool, we can use this to do all kinds of things. Maybe we can even use this on support articles at some point. So I've probably said it already five times, I'm super excited, we're gonna work on this. Um, what's particularly interesting for me is like, is it is it marketing, is it support, is it the product, is it the website, is it yes, 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 yes. It's all of those things like, you know, it's like your peanut butter and your chocolate, your chocolate and your peanut butter. Two great tastes that taste great together. So check back next week because we'll have it'll be demo time. We'll have stuff to show. I'm gonna I'll record stuff to show you for next week. And um, and then maybe there'll be other things that we can do. Um, like we're already thinking about working on like a new new user experience and, and all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned. Thanks.